welcome back to NDP Mercedes-Benz channel. Today, in the first video, I'm gonna review and I'm gonna try this little nifty device um, that's really not expensive. I think I paid about a dollar for two of them. One I gave to my friend and one I decided to, uh, to try it and see how true uh, this device is. Um, so what that device is, it's a battery and charging system tester. So little information on, uh, on, on car battery and car charging system. Um, so what's the fully charged battery? So fully charged battery should read 12.6 volts. And that's uh, well, when people sometimes think that 12 volts is the correct voltage, it's kind of wrong. So 12.6 volts, that's a fully charged battery. And when the engine is running, you, your charging system should uh, output about 13.7 to about 14.7 volts. Um, so what that is, is basically it's a replacement for your regular multimeter. Um, if you don't want to have a multimeter or you don't understand all the uh, background in a voltage metering and everything, but you just want to something quick and dirty, so that device, I think it's really handy. It's really small, it's really light, and I think it does the job. So to start with, um, I got a voltage uh, regulator and uh, I'll be... Uh, supplying different voltage and I'm going to confirm that the specs that they put in the description for this uh, little device is actually uh, true. So I'm going to put a little uh, link in the description below where you can find and where you can purchase this, uh, this little device and um, a handy table that they supply on the description so basically has six states uh, two of them with the car running right here and the rest when the car is not running just to check the battery so let's start testing so to test I have this power supply that I can change the voltage so what I need to do is connect the wires. So we'll put this here. Okay, the blue one is the minus or negative we call it. So negative goes here and positive. We connect over here. Okay, so I have connected my positive lead and negative lead. So that's all good now. Now I'm gonna switch on the power supply and we're gonna go down to about, so we'll take it down to about eight volts. Okay, so 8.7, this is where we're gonna start. So, like the instruction says, when the battery is below 10 volts, you won't have anything on the screen or none of these lights will be on. So what it says, uh, the voltage has to be at least 10 volts for this green light to come on. So if we keep going up, okay, this is 10 volts, nothing here yet. All right, so 10 and a half, somewhere around 10 and a half volts or 10 volts, kind of a borderline. So that's okay. So now, it says that as we go up, the battery 
the low light should be between 12 and 12.3 12 volts. So we're gonna go up. Okay, so that's 12. So we keep going up, 12.1. 12.2 so there somewhere on the borderline so 12.2 the low light comes on which is kind of okay so that's 12 to 12.3 this light should be on uh, the next the yellow light should be at 12.5 sorry 12.3 to 12.5 should be on so here we're gonna go up that's 12.3 still there 12.4 12.5 and at 12.5 the yellow light starts blinking and if we go up so at 12.5 the yellow light comes on so there's a little bit a 0.2 volt difference between the actual reading and what the instruction says so let's go up and it says at 12.6 it should show that the battery is fully charged so we're gonna keep going up 12.6 12.7 keep going up all right, I'm getting to the max. Let's go back. We're gonna get to 12. Now we're gonna go 12.5 We again. 12.6, seven. Okay, so 12.7 and a half somewhere. So at 12.7, it shows us that the battery is fully charged. Well, 0.1 uh, volt off. So now, the next step would be uh, when the engine is running. So at running engine, we should have about 13.6 volts. That's when it should show us that the charge is good. So we go up. So 13, all right, so somewhere around 13.8, so again, that's about 0.2 volts off, at 13.8, it shows us that the charge is good. And this should cut off and go into the fold at around 14.7. But I'd say it's probably going to go off at about 14.9 or maybe 15. 15 still kind of okay. So let's see. All right, I reached my max. Let's go down. Use the course. Okay, and let's go up again. So 14.7, 14.8, Yeah, somewhere at 14.9 to 15, and it shows that there's a fault in charging system. All right, so what I can say that it's about 0.2 volts off, which is not that bad for cheap device like that. Or shall I, shall I say not cheap, inexpensive. Because clearly the, this thing does the job and actually does a pretty good job. All right, so now I'm gonna connect this battery tester to my battery. And I know that I bought the battery in a junkyard so I expect it to be a little bit weak. So let's see. All right, so there goes to negative. 
and this goes to a positive. And what do we have there? So it tells us that's yes, it's between 10 and 12 volts and it's low. And like I said, I do suspect that this will be low because, because I bought it. And you can see that it's blinking. So it's somewhere there. And based on our measurements, I can tell where it is. Okay, so that's regarding the battery. Now let's um, see the start and the charging system. And the charging system we're going to do in two steps. One at idle and one is going to be at 2000 RPM. Okay, and I'm going to go start the car. Alright, so that's at idle, and at idle we can see that the charge is good, the battery shows up that the battery is receiving full charge, so that's okay. Now we need to go up to 2000 RPM, make sure that the battery does not overcharge. All right, so that was the quick test. And now that we've ran the battery a little bit, it receives some charge and it actually shows that the battery fully charged. My verdict, would I recommend this little device to my friends? Definitely. I think it's a very useful, it's a very simple tool um, for the price I think it does what it's supposed to do. Maybe not that accurate, but we're not looking for accurate measurements. But to give an average driver or to average car owner an idea, I think this little tester deserves nine out of 10. Thanks for watching.